Welcome back, everybody, to Kingsfield 3. I have had an extreme time. I'm sure many people will as they see this. They'll be asking me all about it. Clem Hazard, it's, it's great to see you. Like, honestly, it's really good to see you. <laughs> see you and uh everyone else who comes in um i was just welcoming everybody in and saying that i've had a time the last few months let's see if i even remember what the heck like what the heck i was doing It's like Mubot updated too. Okay. For those who, who do not know, I was, um, I had COVID over the holidays. Um, and I was uh, in my local hospital's intensive care unit for about eight days. I was not intubated. Um, I was stuck on a, a cannula for about for like the entire eight days. Um, I was connected to everything that they could put on me. I was given remdesivir. I was not given convalescent plasma. Um, and I was I was basically stuck there, <laughs> um, especially once they started giving you remdesivir. Remdesivir is a five day a five-day course and you can only get that in the hospital and uh, yeah and um, my my recovery from it has not been as fast as many people's I've had some lingering symptoms um, and I've been taken care of by the post-covid clinic at my local hospital and um, nowadays I'm feeling much better I'm able to climb the stairs to get to my get to my room for work and uh, for streaming and stuff like that. I'm even entertaining the possibility of stopping by my office tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't wish it upon anybody. You're not allowed any visitors, um, and you're like I had a fever of about I have not a fever I had multiple fevers. Um, the top end of it went to 103 at one point overnight, and I had to sleep with ice packs underneath my arms and on my head at one point, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually had an echocardiogram, um, Friday, since, uh, they are watching over my heart now and stuff like that. My, my lungs are clear at this point, and uh, I don't think they have seen any any real scarring from COVID itself. COVID seems to have like messed with me in a bunch of other ways that we're only really discovering. So that's been my last couple months. Um, last time we were playing Kingsfield 3, we had made it to the haunted village looking for the sister of a young girl and I think we got lost because uh, this village is very rude it's full of ghosts who will who will curse you and curse gives you darkness which is like it just you know you can't see anything so I think I was spamming light the entire time and uh, since the timing of this game is more frames then uh, we were just like just waiting out some of these darknesses. The ghosts themselves aren't too bad to kill. It's just um, there's a lot of them, and they will hit you no matter how like hard you try. So let's see if we can't find where we're supposed to go, and uh, continue on. I was actually really mad. 
I, re I really wanted to play some Kingsfield over the holidays. Um, most of it is like... Like I spent my entire vacation in a hospital. So um, for those who don't know, the little green things that are flying by, that's Curse. Very similar to, say, Demon of Hatred, who center. The yellow filter is now I take more damage. Hey, Gasson. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Great to see you. Oh, look. I wonder what's in here. Skeleton. Okay, so I don't think we can get through here yet. I'm looking for a specific house, and last time I got super lost. Couldn't find it, but found a save point. Maybe it's just texture seeming. Um, KFSA is mostly written. I've already gone through it once. I'm waiting on my editor to get back to me about what he thinks of it. Um, I've got to go through it again. Because I have some notes from... Nope, nope, leave me alone. That's rude. I don't like it. Um, I have some notes from somebody who knows Kingsfield a little bit better than I do. And he's gone through and um, done some... Fact checking for me? So I have to go through all of that. Ah, damn it. It's rude. Yeah, contrast seems a bit high. It's kind of always kind of looked this way. And this area is kind of notorious for it. Especially with all the, the status effects going on. Let's see here, where the heck am I? Oh right, this is why Kingsfield- I mean, this is why FromSoft should never make a map again. And this is actually not so bad. Uh, maybe it's... Maybe the house I'm looking for is right through there?
It's kind of yoloing. I need to find a specific house, and I forget which one it is. Come on, Log Stalker, let me alone. I don't know. The maps in the maps in Kingsfield take a little bit of getting used to. When people first look at them, uh, they get swirly eyed because they are definitely a thing. Right. Running low on MP. Come in through here. Well, I did just save it. I mean, hmm. I'm looking for the girl. I'm not sure if he would give me another another needle or if I'd be SOL that's a safe one right did you ever hazard did you ever um, figure out what you were missing in um, in Shadow Tower Come on, Stamina, let's go. Looks like I need to go through the H, the H building again. I didn't think. Oh, you're still stuck in Fire World. Apparently, I'm stuck in here because I need to get good at like figuring out where the heck I'm going. Okay, so that's the door we just saw. That's a jerk. And this I'm pretty sure I can't get by. That's a guy who takes a needle. Um, I have located all of them except the one girl. Those are healing waters. It's kind of um, your bonfire. I'm hoping there's a save point back here. Let's see here, do I have the have the key? Oh I have a Promius. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. I think
think I know what that is. Dragon head. Ordinary armor. Looks like the Seath armor from Kingsfield 2. Always welcome, because I needed to get rid of that helmet anyway. And it makes sense because these um, healing waters are the providence of Seath. And it would make sense that that would look like the Seath armor from Kingsfield 2. Do I have any empty flasks? I do. here. This place seems a bit safe, so. Yeah, I need to find Tony. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Where am I on the map now? Yeah, so uh, where I am in the, the Kingsfield essay is I'm pretty much nearly finished. I need to put together my bibliography and uh, finish editing, but it's about 20 pages. Um, a lot of it, some of it is, is dedicated towards um, explaining Kingsfield lore, because I am sure that not everybody who reads my work is like well versed in Kingsfield lore. And then uh, some analysis of common tropes that FromSoft likes using that originated from Kingsfield. Where the heck is Tony's house? And a lot of a lot of the little analyses aren't as long as I would like, so a lot of them are going to function as seeds for what I'm going to be talking about later, or longer essays on things I want to talk about later. Because some things require a bit more. That's the guy again, which means the save point's over here.
So we use two, so we're going to use uh, one, so we're going to use two and three. Today. A lot of a lot of work on the essay happens if I'm not if I don't have any work to do for work. Sir, what are you looking at? Like there's like nothing. What are you what are you doing? Let's keep going this way. Maybe we'll find it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, what a what a beautiful rocky wall outside of my window. I don't think I've been here. Those guys are the worst. Um, I'm in a bad place to show off its graphical stuff right now, I'm guessing. So, um, this village is... Okay, so this is the sister... Well, this is just this, this area. I don't believe we've met, yet you look so familiar. Who are you, if I may ask? Oh, that's why I thought I'd seen you. Have you met my sister, Priscilla? I was on my way back home to her. Were you able to comfort her? Have you really come all this way to help your people? If you're telling the truth, then you're not at all like your father. Please take this. If you're really here to help, find Lord Vayrak and heal him with this needle. I fear I won't be able to make it all the way before one of those demons gets me. Poor Priscilla. I hope I can make it back home to her. She's so innocent and helpless. Anyway, please go. Take good care, my prince. So this area is a um, was basically wrecked by the demon invasion a little bit more than some of the other places in in this game. There are grasses. There are there are more verdant places, but this village is a bit of a wasteland. And that's why it's, like, covered in ghosts and junk. Alright, so now we're going over to Lord Vayrag. So we're just gonna follow this all the way back to the save point. 
Yes, this is the running speed, BT Dubs. Oh, there's a lot of things technologically that this game tries to do that the other two games didn't. This game has a lot more in the way of textures. Um, I mean, they're still, to our modern eyes, they're still kind of flat, but um, the first two games were extremely flat. I don't know if you've seen mine or like Lance's or Lobos's playthroughs, but like Kingsfield 1 and 2 are very flat. Uh, generally single colored and if it's got any shading it's kind of a gradient if you look really close this has a lot more textures more like Photoshop 7 kind of kind of textures um, but there are there are grasses and stuff but not not this village this village is hashtag wrecked so this should be Lord Varak if memory serves Hi, Lord Virak. Lyle? But how? Tony? Then she is responsible for saving me? Thank you. Thank you for delivering me from a living death. A fate worse than the thousand deaths I must have witnessed in my stone prison. I was on my way to the castle, and I remember. Demons suddenly attacked me. I held them at bay at first, but then they turned me into stone. How ironic it is to be rescued by someone I was supposed to help. Take this. It is the wing of Icarus, which I have received from the king. You will be a king soon yourself. You must take care so that nothing happens to you. Da 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 da. Fast travel. This game does have fast travel. Uh, the Icarus items give you fast travel to uh, a couple of different gold fountains in the area. Hooray! Progress! I just like, I knew I had to find Tony. I just kept circling in the same circle. He went to the castle alone. He decided that the only way to stop this madness was to kill the king. Would he ever return from the castle? I fear he wouldn't. I would like to have gone with Silviera to fight by his side. Now mind you, if you've kept up with YouTube, Silviera is the guy you play in pilot style. Pilot style isn't just a demo, it is a sort of prequel, and you play Silviera in that. Um, Silviera found out that stuff was happening to his own, his own army, and he moved the Moonlight Sword from where it was to where you will find it in this game. Uh, Sylvia, I think, dies in between there. I wanted more than anything to break out of the stone tomb and to go watch him, but I've been cursed to watch that final battle as well. Silviera loved the king before the transformation. He left here in turmoil. But I am old, and there is no way I can go, ki go to kill the king for what he has done. I will have to leave everything for you to carry out. Meanwhile, I will stay here and protect these children as best I can. How pitiful that I was turned into stone. If you do miss a line, like I know I did, it's in your journal. That's one thing I wish FromSoft would bring back, the journals. Because, uh, I find them pretty useful. even though a lot of the translation in this game is suspect. Anyway. We work with what you got. So now, save point should be over here. We can save again to save our progress, because we actually have progress now. Kia 
of one was ugly, but like it's a different sort of feel when you're actually playing that game. Like when you're actually playing it, it's a it feels different. You forget how ugly it is and you're just kind of you're in this game world. It's not as immersive, obviously, but like you get your Just checking to see if I have any more needles. I don't. So let's YOLO and go over to the where the wings will take us. So these are important in Kingsfield lore and they are heavily referenced in Demon Souls. Um, teleporting rings all kind of look the same in Kingsfield and including Kingsfield 4 where they're a bit more elaborate. Um, they do look like these seals. Demon Souls imports them, and they are all over the Nexus, as one will know, which should have told people who are very familiar with Kingsfield that the Nexus is a teleporting point. It's a little, it's a little thing like that that is fun to note. Wait, was that like an invisible wall? Oh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Seath is a crafty son of a bitch. Huh, okay. Alright, so we're supposed to go back to Tony's place. And then we can come back here, and there should be a tunnel right behind me. Hopefully I can find Tony's place again. Okay, I gotta turn all the way around. I believe. The save point is at the top, then I should go turn all the way around. Hey, Fish Freeman. What's going on? Oh, what did I pick? Oh, I picked something up. It's probably a bloodstone. Lord Vayrak has done so much for us. 
Thank you so much for your help. I think he's going to be okay now. I wish peace would return to our village soon. Wait, did I? Did I not talk to Veyrak enough? Hold on, this is this is probably gonna be easier than um, going all the way back. Doing doing very well now, thanks, Fish Freeman. A lot better now than I than I have been. All right, Virak, did I talk? Did I not talk to you enough? While I was standing here as a stone statue, I witnessed countless villagers being killed and eaten by those wicked demons. But what of my vengeance now? Killing the king won't bring back the dead. I suppose that the least I can do is to ensure that these children have the future that was taken from so many at the hand of all this wickedness. While I'm alive, I'd like to see peace in this country again. Until peace returns, I shall make sure that these children are safe. Let's all pray that we shall be at peace again soon. Alright, let's go try Tony again. She's supposed to give me another another needle. That's why I keep checking my inventory to see if I missed it or not. Well, I guess she peaced out. Let me just take this crap over here. Ooh, I will take that wise fruit. Thank you very much. So she must have returned to her sister. So if we go back to the beginning of the area, she might be there. Hey, Zero! It's great to be back, actually. I'm just really happy to, like, be back. Okay. Okay. 
think I have to cross the bridge to get back to the beginning. So let's do that. I can use the wings to just piece back out. This is where the girl was. Anything from you? A while back, Lord Bayrak chased off the scary monsters and things. We're a little better here for a while, but my sister and I were still sad. It's very lonely here without anyone else in the village. My sister said that the people would come back again, though. And she told me that I'd be able to play with other kids again soon. I wish they'd all hurry up and come back. Are you going to stay with us? We're all alone here now. You know about what happened to Lord Varak, right? I was just going over to where he was. Alright. Where is Tony? Lord Varak has done so much for us. Thank you so much for your help. I think he's going to be okay now. You really are here to help us. Thank you for saving Lord Varak. I really appreciate what you've done. Lord Varak is all better now, and the evil creatures in this area are gone too. You have given us hope. So she gives us another needle. But what of the other villagers? It's been very desolate here since the horrific incident ten years ago. It's actually fifteen, but the translation has to change some things. Nothing but tragedy has taken place. So much pain. Perhaps you will give them hope too. I wish we could have peace again soon. I like her hair. It's not like a braid, but I actually kind of like that. It's cool. Alright. Now that we have the needle... We should be done with this area, and it shouldn't be a dumpster fire to navigate. So let's use the wings. Tricky, tricky. I'm not sure. Like, you can't really... I can't really tell whether it was on purpose or not. They've done a lot of like rewrites to fit in with a new narrative. Um, but I'm not really sure if they like did it on purpose or not. I mean, it's not like they didn't know it was 15. Like, 1 to 5 isn't something you can. that's difficult to translate or anything, but. Now, uh, for those lore heads, Orladin is um, an archmage. He is a mage of every element, and he taught Sadek and he taught Shaddam, who we've already met in Kingsfield 2. It's Mamatim. Hey, Mamatim. Oh, okay, so then there should be a thing that I can get now. That I can get now. I have the Aquarian boots still on. Maybe 
have to leave and come back around. I've been doing okay. I am. Yeah, as well as I can be. Hmm. Okay, hold on. What the heck is going on in this room? Now I know I'm supposed to be able to get across. Maybe there's a hidden door that I don't... Do you know about? Time to bash my face against the wall. Um, yeah. Like, I explained a little bit at the beginning of the stream, but I don't think anybody was here. Um, I spent eight days in the hospital from COVID. It sucked. Zero out of ten would not recommend. Um, yeah. This <laughs> is zero out of ten. That's why I took a, like a two, three month break from everything. Um, yeah. Like, it wasn't, the way it started for me, because I never lost smell or taste the way it started for me was uh, chills. I was just really cold. Like, down to the bone. Extremely cold. And, um... Like, I thought it was a flu. And it was... It was, um... The holidays, so trying to get a test, was a Dark Souls boss in, a, in itself. And, uh, I finally got a test on that Sunday, the, um, like the 20th of December. And this test was not a rapid test. So I, ag I actually did not get the results of that test until after the hospital had done two. Tests of their own. Hmm. I am befuddled. I'm pretty sure this should be open by now. So... Um... My oxygen was really low. So if you ever get COVID, you should get a pulse oximeter. Those things can save your life. Um... I never felt like I had trouble breathing but um apparently i did like i wasn't taking in the oxygen that i needed yeah this isn't a hidden wall i am confused 
But, um, yeah. Landed in the hospital with a 102 fever. The fever was the bitch of the part. Um, because, like, I could not... They could not get the, the fever down for the life of them. Yeah, I don't think I can get by there. I don't exactly know what's going on there. Pretty sure I could get through there. I'm supposed to get through there now, but apparently not. Anyway, um, yeah, it was 102 fever. I walked into the emergency room. My PCP had called ahead of time and like they s my emergent my local hospital's emergency room is split into a couple of different sections first you go to triage where they they do a lot of your vitals they do split decisions about where you're supposed to go and then there's a couple of different color coded pods gold pod red pod purple pod red pod is critical i went straight to red pod and when i got to where i was going there was like 20 or 30 doctors around me all of them throwing IVs on me, asking me questions, like getting me ready, like taking vitals, uh, like giving me medicine, like it was a whole thing. And um, so. Like that, that was that night. It was a blur. Like now it's a blur, but I, I felt really zen like when I was there. Um, it didn't really hit me as really scary until the admitting doctor came over to me in my little room and she was like, Do you give us permission to intubate you? Do you give us permission to perform CPR on you if something happens? That's when it hit me. Then I spent the next eight days there, connected to a telebox that, like, kept 24-hour monitoring of my heart, um, on oxygen. Like, I was by myself in my own room, um, because obviously, and like, um, no visitors, obviously, and uh. Like, I, I had a crappy view, too. There was that. Where the heck am I? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look around where we are. Fill out the pixie map a little bit. It looks like demon lords. I never picked up the truth mirror, so I'm pretty sure these are demon lords. But that was the first day I was in, uh, I was admitted to the hospital. Um, the fever was the worst. I did top out during a day at, uh, 103. At, uh, 103 fever at one point. Like, the nurses came in with a bunch of ice packets, and I had to... I had to sleep with that for a night. Oh, crap. Where's a gold? I'll take a gold. back up and try to get this. These guys don't seem too bad. But I have to be on my toes because they can take my health off really quickly. These look like the um, the remnants of high elves. They have high elf ears. The 
got chicken feet. They drop a lot of gold, though. That's nice. Alright, where are we? Looks like... Cemetery. Aw, oh, yeah! Wind crystal! Wind magic up! Cool. Speaking of magic, I'm gonna pop an earth heal. Danger! Do not look! Game, you're not the boss of me. Maybe you are. Maybe a little bit. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? Water magic. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, like, they have said that if you go under 94 or so, you should go to the hospital. Um, 92, it, like, it, if you're fine, then it should be fine, but... Look at this save point. Look at this precarious save point. But I'm glad you're, you're doing better, Zero. If you're feeling better, you should check yourself for, uh, have yourself checked for antibodies. Ask your PCP to, like, order it if you've got one. Because you might have had a, a mild bout. The thing with me is I, um, my symptoms lasted for a while. And they're still kind of a little bit there. Like, I get, like, these random headaches. Um, but I've had a lot of physical therapy, so I'm, I'm like, I'm feeling stronger now. Like, I can't walk a, walk a mall, but... Get a pulse oximeter. If he's at home, get a pulse oximeter. If he goes below 94, he should seriously consider going to the hospital. Pulse oximeter. Nobody, like, nobody, like, buy a pulse oximeter. That's, that's the one thing I wish somebody had told me. Buy one. Some people's phones, I know my sister's Samsung, had, like, Galaxy, she has one, like, on the phone. If you've got one on your phone, or something, just get one. Test yourself often for, like, your oxygen. And if you go, like, below 94 consider going to the hospital like it's just that simple um, because you could be a silent hypoxic meaning that uh, you're suffocating and you don't realize it Lynn tells us I'm so glad to see you again. I knew you'd be around here somewhere. You look like you found some trouble. You should be more careful. Here, take the key to my house. Go there and look for my staff. The king gave it to me as a gift, but I have no need for it now. Take it with you for protection. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Thanks for the... I wonder what she said because I, like, skipped it.
This is where I grew up. When I was a child, Marilyn used to operate the inn here. Okay. But, like, people don't seem to have pulse oximeters. Like, they'll have, like, a thermometer, maybe. And they'll check themselves for it. But, like, COVID is, is less... It's not just a respiratory disease. It's, it's like, a cardiovascular one, too. And you don't want to mess with it because of what it does to your heart. Okay. All right, game. I'm going to do something that you told me explicitly not to do. Is Bleach coming back, or is it just, uh... Burn the witch that's coming back. British bleach. Not silly. I'm gonna do something the game tells me not to do, but I'm gonna save it first. Are they. Well. I don't know. I didn't really like how the manga ended. Like, it seemed like Kubo was really tired by the time he got around to ending it. I see you, game. Damn it! Is 219 not good enough? I guess 219 is not good enough. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of hype. Oh, I think I loaded the wrong one. Uh. Yeah, from what I remember, there was a lot of hype, and then it just kind of ended. And it's like, oh, these two got married, and these two got married. Have fun, everybody. And it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. 219 might not be good enough. Do I have... Let's see here. I don't need the aquarium boots. I can get the Fujins on. Yeah, I guess 219 is not good enough. Alright, keep that in mind, I guess.
go to self, come back here for some goodies when I have more hit points. Well, there's really good items down there, but the only way to go down there is to jump. But I don't have enough hit points to, like, tank it, I guess. I'm only level 23, so I don't know. Jujutsu Kaisen? I'm really excited for, um, Way of the House Husband. coming out soon. I think Genichiro is still voicing Tatsu. My father and I used to stay at this place while we traveled. This is where he said that he was going to go after Promius just before he vanished. This area used to be lively and warm when I was a child, of course. I always wished that you would come and take me away someday. My best friend, the Prince of Verdite. I was jealous. I wanted to be a princess. I know you'll have to leave soon as well. It's been so long since anything I remember of my childhood has been. So real as to stand right before me, speaking to me. Everything is different now. Please be careful. You know... One of our walks, Alexander gave me a ring. He said that he found it at the Dragon Spring. I was so happy to receive that ring. I looked up to him so much. He was so kind and friendly. He put a charm on it for me, he said. Do you ever want to see me wear this ring and come to the Dragon Spring? I will be there. But Alexander is dead now. I can never see him again. Oh well. Thanks for stopping by anyway. Take care. If we get through this someday... I hope I'll be seeing you, maybe at the castle again, like in the good old days. Maybe we could even... Well, anyway, thanks. Please be careful, my old friend. Sure. Go explore, I guess. What's going on here? The land of Garon. Yeah, you see the, the island up top. Because the pixie map filled it out. Um, but I don't have enough hit points. Ah! Want the loot and the cool sword. If anybody knows how much uh, HP you need to survive the fall. Okay, let's see if Lynn's still there. I guess I need to unload the house and reload it. Run! 
Yeah, I liked the record, record of Lotus War. That was like childhood, childhood anime right there. Would you guys stop hitting me with wind cutter? Yeah, Record of Lotus War was fun. I don't think I've seen the whole thing, though. I watched what Sci-Fi Channel put on, but I don't think Sci-Fi Channel ever aired the whole saga. Are you serious? Let's go check out the dragon's ring. Maybe she left a ring there? And, uh, maybe it's something we'll have to, like, look for later. I'm kind of certain that there's going to be another one, eventually. There's been a lot of reboots um, lately in anime. Spriggan, of all things, is getting a reboot. Like, of all things, Spriggan is getting a reboot. Like, I didn't think Spriggan was, was popular enough to get a reboot, like, 20-something years later, but... Here we are. anything down here. Other than maybe Tom Foolery. So here's my thought about what's going on here. Lynn seems to be the only one left of this town. And all the other elves or people like her caught dead and became these sort of winged demon fairy guys.
Hmm, I see. I see, I see, I see. This place is kind of empty. And this should be where we came in. I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning. She's supposed to leave, and I don't think I've triggered something for her to leave yet. Let's go over here to save and then see about using the key we got. I wonder how much HP you need to like survive the fall. Not all bad, we got some highly prized magic crystals. The Land of Garan. I guess not. Let's like reload the whole area. Cause the wings aren't that, that far away. And I need to refill some crystal flasks anyway. I wonder, did the the barrels move yet? I have zero idea how I'm supposed to get over here. If somebody knows, let me know. Because I can't get through the barrels. I was led to believe that they kind of just disappear once you hit a flag. Oh well. Let's see if Lynn has left her letter. So that we can proceed.
Oh, you're new. The fucking widow are back. What the hell? You're not the same guys I left. You are not the same people I left. Rude. Yeah, it's, it's hard to stay uh, to their side. But I got him. Ugh. Yeah, I'm rolling around with Volgard right now. I have a level one or two X Lector. Level one? Level two. What the heck? The you are not the monsters I left here. right place? Yeah, I totally am. Jeepers. These guys giants? I don't have the truth mirror, but I think I missed it. So let me know if I'm right. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Keepers. Oscar, great to see you. Hope you're doing a okay. These guys look real dopey. But they got that earth magic, so... Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. They've got good earth magic. And it takes me eight hits to kill them. I 
remember that spell real well from Kingsfield 2. Necron loved it. I don't know why I keep missing him. They don't drop nearly enough gold to make it really worthwhile. That could be it. Um, 219 is obviously not enough. There is a log stalker down there. So they could have... They could have uh, gotten reset on the way down. I wonder if this appears as a... Okay. Lyle, I've found the path to Garan. I know it's dangerous, but I must go to find my father. When I find him, I'll bring the crown back for you. So Lynn must have opened it, allowing all those monsters to come out. Yeah. My max HP right now is 219, so I don't know. More snow and ice areas. Nothing here. Let's see what's out on this side. Time to beat. Absolutely cheap.
just exploring. Some magic, sweet. What did we learn? Let's see. Uh, blessings. I think. I think we learned blessings. Cool. We are up to two twenty-eight. Groundle crown. Special armor. Well, okay. Wonder what it does. like that's an exit. Okay. Still kind of looking around though. I think the Grundle Crown is allowing me to get criticals. So I've gotten nothing but criticals but putting it after putting it on, but that could just be RNG. have enough uh, magic stamina is not back up yet These guys are scary, but they're not as bad as I thought they would be. A little bit hard to get behind.
skeleton. Oh, okay. Boss fight time. What kind of boss fight? This guy should drop me some Chromius. Chromius is like a Titanite shard. Kind of the same thing. No, gimme. I want to see. Ooh. I wonder if this is any good. Uh, let's put it on. Okay, so horizontal slash doesn't seem terrible. Vulgar I was using for its holy properties. Nice. Very nice. Some Promius, a nice new weapon, save point. We've got Gold Fountain within reach. Looks like we've come to the end of this arm, so we have to go back up towards the center and go straight down. Two hits on the paralyzed mushroom. I'm into it. Giving me some uh, Ariandel vibes over here.
Does anyone have any questions? Or, like, especially if you're new to these streams, do you have any, like, questions about what we're doing? I'm not, like, a, an expert on Kingsfield. These are, like, my first playthroughs. map says we are right where we should be. I'll eat a salad. Holy mole. Oh, that's nothing. I'm not hitting that at all. We'll see if I need to like burn my gold, my last gold potion. Let's go explore. Um, there's piercing weapons. I'm fairly sure. Hold on. I think pierce is called stab in this game. Yeah. Huh, I bet the I bet the crown gives me earth magic. Offense. I wonder if I have any earth magic. I mean, I have earth healing. No, I don't have any offensive ma earth magic yet. Here's the other side of Mr. Tortoise. Just gonna say hi. Looks like we're nearing an end. Oh boy. Not fun at all. Those guys are just not fun. I have a feeling that I'm like a little bit under leveled at this point in the game. You know, just a little bit. Yeah, I'm figuring that I have to look to see. I'm not sure if it's really that important yet. Oh no! Lynn has died! No, our best friend! Our childhood best friend! Is dead at our feet. Because it's a FromSoft game and that's just kind of what happened. F and chat for Lynn, I guess. OK. 
Okay, so that's not a thing. Oh, I should put Pujins on. Special effect item. That ring will not be a thing until much later in the game. We've still got a few uh, dungeons to go through. Would you please die? Alright, this guy is dead and they leave me almost no gold. What is this? An Icarus thingy. Is that the last of the Icarus stuff? Icarus eye, Icarus wings. Aha, the Icarus crown. I think we might be done here. Well, kind of done. Rip and pepperoni Lynn. Body's gone though. Um, let's see here. Okay, so it's been about two hours. My throat's feeling a bit um, sore. So, we are going to YOLO and see where this crown takes us. We will be back here to explore the rest of this place. Um, we did a lot in here. We got the Promius, we upped our, our magic, we got... We caught up with Lin. We found Lin dead. Um, we still have some questions and answers to go. I think we have the right hand side of this map to go in here. Slowly and surely. We fell to our deaths a few times. That's that's always fun. But let's see where this um, Icarus crown takes us. Because we can speed over here. If we need to. A speed back. I know this music. It's oh boy, it's a brand new place. <laughs> Give me a save point. Give me a save point. The music in Kingsfield slaps. It doesn't even matter which one, it just slaps. Let's see here. We have a quick save point. Looks like we found ourselves a huge graveyard. We can't exit out of. Yeah, 
here I am thinking I was just gonna get like a quick save point and then log off. And no, this is a brand new place. murdered cat. Alright. I'm gonna flight myself back out of here. We'll explore that place next time. But there should be a save point. Right around this here corner. Not that corner. Yeah, I wonder if the, the barrels moved. Let's get their save point and then get out. side. We're here. Okay. So next time, I think we'll probably finish off um, whatever loose ends we might still have at the land of Garan. Um, and then we'll see where that big cemetery is from. Now, remember, lore-wise, a lot of the people who live in the city, in the kingdom, think that it's John Alfred. They don't know that John Alfred is being puppeted by Seath. Um, Lynn might have an idea, but she's dead now. Um, and Lynn had a, a had a crush. This is kind of rectified in the English one. We'll, we'll get we'll go over like how they rewrote the ending, um, the good ending. Because uh, I've translated the good ending already. And it is quite a bit different from the American voiceover. There is no voiceover in the Japanese game. So, but we'll go over that. Um, our goals is to up our HP. So we need to like level up one or two more times. So that we can fall to our not-so-doom and get a really cool sword. We need to finish off one dungeon and we need to go explore the dungeon that is opened up with the Icarus crown. And then I think we need to put the three Icarus items together at Leon's house. And I think there's another dungeon that we haven't gone through um, that can be accessed through the Path of the Thief. I don't. Th I think it's the Path of the Thief. I don't think it's the Path of Death. 
but we've still got some stuff to do. Uh, King's Hill 3 is a pretty long game. It's kind of Dark Souls 2-ish in that way, but there's a lot to do. Um, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'm glad I didn't forget how to stream in my absence, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>